So, speaking as an astronaut, what's your least favourite part of space? Hmm. It's quite cold. How do you feel about the darkness and the silence? It's very dark. And very silent. Okay. Well, there's 16 sunrises a day. It's not like we're taking naps. There's literally a dust cloud called Sagittarius B2 that smells like rum and tastes like raspberries. Don't ask how I know that. There's a lot of cosmic radiation just flying around and it has been known to cause cancer and birth defects in fetuses. Is pregnancy during missions something NASA worries about? No. I could imagine copulating in space to be a little difficult. No, it's, it's not that. It, uh, we're not allowed. And we regularly wear diapers. So, just let that sink in. What's traffic like in space? It must be nice having plenty of room to move around and do whatever you like. There is over 5,500 tons of space debris orbiting the Earth at 17,000 miles per hour. You try changing lanes in that. But zero gravity. Oh, yeah, that's fun and really easy to get around. Uh, you lose up to a fifth of your muscle mass per week. And that's including muscles you use for movement and survival. Bear in mind that your heart is one massive muscle. Your bones can lose up to 60% of their density if you stay too long, which makes them incredibly fragile and easy to break. And all that calcium that your bones have shed has to go somewhere. So it goes to your kidneys where it forms stones that you then have to pass. And zero gravity has absolutely no effect on that. Kidney stones are often followed by blood loss and with a weak heart, it's a heart attack. But yeah, floating is really cool. A big question a lot of people want to ask is, would you survive outside of a spacesuit in space? Yeah, in short. Say, for example, some of that space debris crashes into your station and just obliterates millions and millions of dollars worth of work and equipment right in front of your eyes. If you can relocate yourself to a new sealed airlock within 30 seconds, whilst your blood is boiling, your skin is bloating, and you're holding your breath, but not too much because the air is expanding in the negative space and tearing at your lung tissues, oh, and avoiding all of the other debris, yeah, yeah, you'd be just fine. What is the hardest thing to readjust to when you come back to Earth? When you let go of things. They fall. Mugs, TV remotes, babies, they all get dropped and broken. NASA has never found evidence of extraterrestrial life. I don't think they exist. Really? Hypervelocity stars, rogue black holes, and galactic cannibalism? Those are the real boogeymen. One last thing. What do you say to people wanting to go live on the Mars community? I'd say you're crazy. Like, what the f***? Space is f scary.